um hey guys how are you doing today's mother's day and i felt like coming on here to talk for a little bit just to have a chit chat i probably don't know i don't know where this video is gonna go but i just felt like talking about motherhood and just being a mum in general the struggles the 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 struggles the uh, the good times the struggles the hard times everything about motherhood and i would love for i feel like my nose is running a little bit i would love for i would love for any mums out there to chime in as well um you guys know i just got back from uh, hey me too i'm saying me too i'm just me too i'm saying i just got back from you know a holiday i just i decided to take out my hair and this is like the shortest i've ever kept hair on my head and um, i came back and i just felt itchy and i was like i just wanted to take it out and can i just say something in regards to motherhood my daughter currently has chicken pox so i've been dealing with that since we got back from morocco and none of my children has none of my children have had chicken pox so this is the first for me and boy oh boy has it been an interesting couple of days one thing i struggle with in one thing i struggle with with motherhood is that to it's hard to build relationships with people with just normal people how can i say this like it's hard to build relationship with like you know how it's easy to make how can i say this it's hard to build relationships with people outside of being a mum if that makes sense like there's so many times i would love to you know just go out and you know mingle and meet new people but then it's like i feel like because uh, i feel like our schedule i can't explain it I mean, you know they always say you make time for what's important to you but i genuinely would love to make new friends i was even saying this to uh my friend shoma on holiday that like she's the only person i can this is she's literally the only friend that i have and that's a bad thing in the it, in terms when i say friend as in like how can i say this she's the she's the friend that i would call and be like oh do you know do you fancy you know doing something this weekend or she will call me and be like oh let's do this and i feel like i need to learn i need to start making more friends and i feel like motherhood has stopped me from doing that because i'm just like well i don't have time anyway let me just focus on my children and i can't keep doing that because they're gonna get old one day and they're gonna leave me and then i'm gonna be left with no friends or no one to hang out with so I need to make time and prioritise and start, you know, mingling in with new people. But I do struck, it's like, it's hard nowadays, I think, to even make friends in general. Talk less of being a mum and trying to make friends because you could be genuine and genuinely want to get to know somebody and it may come across like as, oh, maybe she's doing it, you know, what what's her reasoning? for wanting to be my friend or you know like it's it's hard to make a genuine friendship nowadays anyway anyway back to um, guys i'm just rambling and also one more thing um okay, one more thing one more one more thing about uh motherhood that i struggle with is uh, and also as a as a mom do not feel bad when your plans don't go to work as in like you know sometimes you wake up in the morning i do this and i'm like okay today we're gonna do this 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 and that and sometimes you just finish getting the kids ready and you're you're tired and you're like do you know what let's scrap it we'll do something indoors instead because and don't feel bad i used to really feel bad for that i'll be like oh my god i've had this plan in my head oh this is what we're gonna do today and i finished getting them ready and i'm like do you know what i don't even want to go out anymore because like just the, the just getting them ready alone is tiring i'm sure other moms can relate to me if you have more i was gonna say if you have more than one child no it doesn't matter even if you just have one child getting a child ready is tiring you finish you're like what was the what what was the plan even again or sometimes you even take them out and they will just you know kids will be kids and you're like ah why did i decide to come out anyway one more thing that i'm learning about motherhood is that we pick up we have so many skills that we didn't have prior to having children because one thing i i was told to stop saying this about myself that you know oh, i'm just a mom like i i probably have a lot of skills that i that i can put on my cv actually for future references of things that i do like you know we're organizers we are doctors not not qualified we are we are counselors all oh, this is unqualified or we are we there's, there's this like um thing there's this um there's this uh there's this meme is it a meme of like there, there's this thing where it says what what mums do and everything like that and yeah i i i and i always i always think to myself was motherhood what i thought it was gonna be 
it definitely wasn't it wasn't you know there's times where you cry on your own and there's times where you feel lonely even though you have your family around you and it's just unexplainable and there's times where you feel like maybe you're missing out like you know other people are doing things and you're just there being a mom like you go through this crazy roller coaster of emotions and there are times where you're like oh my god i'm so glad i've got my kids because i'm thinking listen by the time i'm already i'm calculating it by the time they're like off to uni or doing whatever they decide they want to do like i can have a bit of fun as well so you know there's there's pros and cons to um to being a mum or be being a parent there's pros and cons to to being a mum and stuff like that so and there's times when i'm like and i and the thing is i i i'm learning um i'm learning now to just go with the flow like i cannot come and kill myself it's a very very important quote i cannot come and you can't do anything in life if you don't have a sane mind let's be serious if you're feeling down about something or you're just not mentally you know when you know when you just meant if you're not you know if you if you're if up there is not stabilized i don't even know what word to use like how are you supposed to even think to do anything so keeping up there as as sane as possible is very very important so if that means blocking people out that don't that don't add anything that don't even i don't know people will judge you no matter what you do and also every mother parents differently what you what may work for your children may not work for mine for example my kids have a, a what's it a bedtime routine they have to go to bed by 7 38 but then the bad side to that is that they wake up at 6 a.m. So I know that if, I, if, for example, if I put them to bed around 10, like 10, they may wake up later. But then the way I see it is me putting them to bed at 8 p.m., I'm able to do a you know a couple of things before I go to bed. So then if we wake up early, we wake up early, you know. So everybody, parents, some people put their kids to bed at 10 and the kids, you know, can wake up at 9 or we just do whatever works for you. You have to try different things. And also, we can't get everything right as a mom. We cannot get every it's it's, it's impossible. We and don't we're going to continue to make mistakes. And I also realized happy mom is a happy what is it? happy mom happy kids happy mom happy kids have you noticed when you're in a better mood things tend to go smoothly so that's what, which is a good thing um and yeah like i just i just feel like nobody will ever know, you will never know how you're gonna be as a parent till you are one and i don't know i guess i'm still trying every day i, I probably make mistakes um i wish there were things i could have done better but then again you know this i'm i mean this it, it is what it is and i cannot it is what it is and all i can do is just continue doing what i'm doing do you, do you get where i'm coming from and also we all know this don't compare your children that's one thing i'm learning as i'm going do not compare your child what one child does another child may not be able to do and all of this um business and also don't feel and one uh, can i just talk about um i want to talk about education quickly i've got you guys know obviously i have three children and two of my kids love school they love the you know all this they like to read they like to you know they love all that i don't have no issues but my son for example does not like school he doesn't like school in this in terms of like so when he when he's at school he doesn't want to be there basically he's daydreaming about something else he wants to like he has an obsession with um cars and you know anything to do with cars and all that kind of stuff that's what he's about and it used to make me feel bad because you know they'll call me and um say oh uh because sometimes the school will call me and be like oh he didn't really focus today or you know he he's drifting off his mind is somewhere else but then and i used to feel so bad like you know because i try everything i can i try i try Woo! we're not gonna we're, we're not about to cry in this video we're not about to cry in this video like i can't i just i just sprayed rose water on my face i just pray i just sprayed rose water on my face i can't afford to waste that i'm not crying in this video but i feel like um i i try my best as a parent to make sure that you know you know for example like you you can't expect um for example you can't expect um 
teachers or the outside world to teach your kids you've got to be the one to implement that they are just like a how can i say this like an extra but you, everything comes from the home to the best of your abilities anyway but then i realized that you said this used to make me sad all the time I'm thinking why is this boy not listening like you can't i don't know it's like you can't force him like why is this boy having these days where he just doesn't want to listen you know he's just not interested and you even tell me mommy i don't i don't like english i don't want to learn about this i'm like but you've so now because i realized that he's into cars and that's what he he this is this is what he does this is what he loves so now we've put in an incentive um in our house so if he does good monday to friday this is me really opening up isn't it this is me really talking i don't know if you if you if you guys have children that are like this you may be able to i don't know take something from this so putting an incentive where if he has like a good week on saturday or on sunday his dad will take him there's this like car racing place where you can drive cars or there's an incentive put in place on the weekend where he will get a reward for his behavior during the week because one thing i realized there's no point in shouting there's not there's no point in doing all those things because sometimes those things don't work because sometimes those things don't work um putting an incentive in place is another thing that i've learned with kids it's it's doing it, it's working okay so far we still have a few hiccups we still have a few days where they're like oh he didn't listen again today but then sometimes i have to remind myself that you know he's just a child you know he's a child he's a child he's a child you know let let kids you know he's a child he's a child I have to keep telling myself that he's a child he's a child he's a child and also his dad was telling me that he from his dad was also very stubborn when he was younger as well so i don't know if he's passed because you know he's passed on that gene to you know his son but yeah i feel like i've rambled on a bit i don't even know what the point of this video is i just felt like i just wanted to turn on the camera and talk um i hope you guys um i would love to i would love for you guys to share your motherhood tip like an embarrassing moment i would love for you guys to, if you can you can share a mother you can share a mother a motherhood tip or advice that you've learned since becoming a mother and please 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 like i always say um some i told you somebody once told me don't forget that you were somebody before you had kids and it's very very important not to lose who you were because also it can lead to a uh, 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 is it a space of feeling down <laughs> and I'm, I'm as i'm saying this i'm talking to myself as well because trust me there's days like you guys know that i'll just sit here and i'm sad and i don't know what happened nobody beats me nobody said anything bad to me i'm just down so this is a reminder for myself as well anyway hope you guys have enjoyed this video and see you guys in my next one Bye bye